first put both your sugars in the bowl with your butter and then take your electronic hand whisk or whatever you call it and then put it on a setting like two and then just whisk it until it's all mixed and smooth. When it's all fluffy, like this, and light and stuff, add the vanilla extract and your lightly beaten egg. And be careful because I just spilt them all over the floor. So make sure that doesn't happen because it's not very good to clean up. So yeah, when you've added these, take your um, whisk and put it on low setting like one and then just mix them together until it's all mixed. Now when it's all mixed and creamy like this, add your salt. And then sieve in your self raising flour, so pour it into the sieve. Oh my gosh, it just went out the side. Okay, pour it into the sieve and now just sieve it all into the bowl. Now, with a spoon, just mix it all together to make like a kind of dough, I guess. When it's mixed, take a small handful like this and make it into a small ball and flatten it out. Now take your Oreo, put it on the top like so. Take another small ball, flatten it out and squish it down on top and then just put, put the ends together inside like so. This keeps the Oreo inside, like this. Like, kind of like with pastry, if you've ever made pasties, you have to do the screen cleansing. So, that's one Oreo cookie. And then put it on one of your trays. Make sure that the tray has baking paper on it. Now you have to make as many of these as you can with this mixture. And I'll see you when you're done. Mine made 10 cookies, and then when you've put them all on your tray in your out mixture, put them in the oven. Mine cooked for about 15 to 20 minutes, and they came out really nice and well cooked, but also kind of soft and warm. And now you can eat them, and then the rest you can put in a pot to store them. Now it's time for the taste test, so... Mmm, they're really nice, the Oreo's gone all soft inside. Mmm, they're amazing, I definitely recommend them. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope you enjoy making these, and I hope you enjoy eating them, and um, I hope you, you just stay and watch more of my really cool baking tutorials. See you later.